Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Okay, and today I'd like to show you that I have issue in my VVTI system and how you could notice that firstly when you drive in your car there is this error warning light in on in here and, uh, and then when I start to drive this car this motor is not so fast to react and then also also there is it looks like that, that this motor don't take those turns so easily than before and this before means that when this VVTI system was working and, and now I believe that uh, that this VVTI system there is issue because this motor feels like a little bit lazy and especially this car don't take those turns so easily and also some Togwe, Togwe friends is, is away that this is not so flexible motor it this looks like and, and now when I am trying to accelerate this takes those turns but it is not so fast than before and next next I go to to inspect this PVTI's uh, this uh, components that if there are some issues in there and and I start to replace those parts and let's see that that can I then shut down this warning light or this in there this engine warning light but this motor is overall working quite normal no any extra noises but but there is a loss of ho horsepower and moment and, and this, this motor feels like lazy okay and, and then we continue so that I open bonnet and we check this VVTI components okay and we continue okay and then then I need to check this VVTI systems component and there is those VVTI for uh, this oil pump and this oil sensor pump and then there is one, two, two those VVTI position sensors and I start now this job that I check first this this uh, this uh, oil pump put this in here and I need to first take this cover out and for that we need 10 millimeter socket or switch in here okay. then there is also one bolt in here we can take that part we can take that part away and next we we look this area in here and here is this this uh, VVTI systems oil pump and I take new view okay and this part in here is this VVTI systems this oil pump what generates and changes this oil up amount in this camshaft VVTI system and here is this control wire and for that we need this kind of uh, this tongs and when I carefully press that place and when I hear a click there was click then I can pull out this in this way. This is this Toyota's best in class, best in world electric cables design. And then there is one, one small bolt in there. 
and it's in this Toyota style. It's this 10 mm socket. And when I install this my tool in in this position, when I little bit move that cable, that small friends and socket goes nicely directly in here. But if we have big friends, then it's maybe difficult to insert. And, and then I open the bolt. Okay, now it opens. Then I rotate that. Okay, and then there is the small 10 millimeter bolt. What what looks like in this one? And easy to open. And then when the sensor is in free, I only little bit move that part this way and then pull out and, and here the sensor comes and this is this is the first part what I replace because I have similar part in my other VVTi engine and I replace that and and why I think that this part could be the issue because this motor was running a little bit slowly, slowly and it don't react this uh, gas pedal those movements so fastly than normally this VVT and this engines does and, and next I insert this new part and we continue then okay and it's good to check that that is this oil rings in here is this flexible and does it moves like in here and then we need to of course clean, clean cotton cloth that we clean these parts and also in that area this metallic surface in here now it's clean and then then I insert that new part in here and it goes very nicely and then I insert this bolt I had I had here this 10 millimeter bolt and it goes nicely in this way okay and then Tightening, and I fasten, fasten, and tighten this bolt. Okay, about 10 newton meters. We can uh, we can check that in moment tool. 10 newton meters. This bolts dog reference, and then I insert cable back, and this click is must. What we heard. Okay, and now I think that the sensor is fine and then we can go to check in inside area that what is this warning light situation now. Okay, and there is this warning light is in on and what, what happened when I start the engine. Okay, good. And and now this this warning light is off and and we we have and we have removed that VVTI system error and how you know that you might have issues in your VVTI system if you notice that your there are good hints that if you notice that your car is not so reactive and it, it don't take speed and those turns so easily than before. It's good hint and also also 
if you notice that your car power is lower than before, it's also a good hint. Okay, and now, now this fix has been made, and thank you for watching this video.